Barry Broadfoot. This is the man who brought me in touch with Canada right across the country more than any other. He would say, you know, someday, Doug, I'm going to throw up this job and I'm, I'm going to write my own book. You wait, someday. And I heard this quite a lot, so I'd say, oh, okay, good, good, good luck, Barry. And then one day I, I was back at the office, Bond Street, and I got a phone call and, hi, Doug, it's Barry here. I said, Barry, where are you? I'm in Toronto. Uh, can, we, can we meet for lunch? Sure. And we met for lunch in Dundas Square in a, <laughs> an undistinguished restaurant. And I said, so what are you doing? And he said, I'm traveling across the country and I, with this. And he produced a little tape recorder. This is in the, day, in the days when tape recorders were the size of a small suitcase. Little guy. And he said, and I go up to people in restaurants, at bus stations, and I say, what happened to you during the Depression? And Doug, he wouldn't believe the stories they're telling me. What, what kind of stories, Barry? Oh, farm family in the prairies who simply hitched the horse to the family car, no money for gas, and just plodded away from the farm. Or in the Maritimes, the greedy landlord who tried to raise a widow's rent, who was tarred and graveled by the neighbors. Or the brutal railroad cop who was crucified against a boxcar. You wouldn't believe the stories here. I've got a bunch of them here. I'm, I'm taking them to see Jack McClellan on Monday. And I said, can I have a look? <laughs> and right there happened the Hollywood moment. It never really happens. Where a young editor looks at a book by a first-time author and realizes this is a huge bestseller. He never did have that lunch with Jack McClelland. 